So this is gonna be a very raw video. As you can see, I'm crying. I don't feel good. I'm tired of not feeling good. I got the kitchen and bathroom cleaned. And then I start feeling really sick. I had to fight puking because they don't want me to puke too much and get dehydrated. So I took some cannabis, but I took just a tiny bit because I can't take that much right now because I had to take care of my daughter this afternoon. I took a nausea med, but I try not to take them too much because then you don't poop forever. <laughs> I worked with my therapist yesterday and this was already going to be a pretty raw video but feeling like shit doesn't help. I wish they could figure it out because feeling like shit every day sucks. I'm glad I'm alive. But I don't even really get to enjoy my days anymore. Um, so therapy yesterday. We were going through a lot of deep stuff. And one of the ones we were talking about is my future life. And how I wanted to be 101. Because I found it awesome that it was the same forward and backwards. And I always wanted to grow old. And. She told me I need to work on the grieving process. And letting go of the life I'll never have. And she said that the average person doesn't grieve the life they never have. Because they don't know when they're going to go. So they don't go through the grieving process. Because they don't. They don't need to grieve, they're just gone. But when you're told your timeline and you're given however much time you're given, she said even, even if it's 10 years, most people don't expect to die early. Everyone plans on growing old and dying of old age and people make future plans and that I can still make future plans but I gotta come to the reality that a lot of them might come might not happen and she said I should grieve anything from 10 years on so if I had plans from any time from I was 50 to 101 I need to learn to let that go and process the grieving process so I don't know if a lot of people know this if you've been around people with cancer but a good chunk of cancer patients get really bitter towards the end they get really angry and bitter and my therapist told me the main reason is because it's the grieving process and they didn't do it earlier and so they stay in the anger stage of grieving the last little bit of their life and so if you can learn to grieve and let it go before then you can more easily enjoy the time you do have instead of still trying to cling on to the future so I'm working on that I have to grieve my future um, that's that's rough um, let's see what else was I gonna tell you guys um
I was gonna tell you that I don't know, my mind just went totally blank. My mind's a mess right now. Oh, I still suck and I haven't done the will and power of attorney and I'm really supposed to work on that. Probably should since I keep getting more and more sick. Um, I have this book that I was filling out for my daughter. It's called Mom, Tell Me About Your Life. I totally forget to fill it out. I'm gonna like sit down, it's supposed to be one question a day. I'm just gonna sit down and do like 50 questions at a time so I can catch up because I'm pretty far behind now. But it gives her my history so she has it with her her entire life. Um, yeah, it's rough. There's a lot of grieving in cancer. Your life, your plans, people that have jumped ship and abandoned you in your crisis, family, friends, it doesn't matter who, just in general, you have to grieve loss continuously and it sucks. And then you throw in that I'm still grieving my mom. Let's see, it's been We're going on six months at the end of this month. So that's still pretty new. <sighs> it's a lot. It's a lot. I'm just having a day, guys, and I need to show you the raw truth. <laughs> and she said I would share the journey, so that's what I'm doing. I'm going to rest and play on my phone, I guess, because my body's not doing much. Not today. Love you all. Bye.